हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट ट्रांसपोज ऑफ ए मैट्रिक्स सिमेट्रिक एंड स्क्यू सिमेट्रिक मैट्रिक्स ओके नाउ वी हैव टू प्रूव दैट जीरो मैट्रिक्स इज द ओनली मैट्रिक्स विच इज बोथ symmetric as well as skew symmetric matrix in last lecture we have studied about symmetric and skew symmetric matrix and we know that For a symmetric matrix, transpose of a matrix is equal to matrix. Clear? And in a skew symmetric matrix, transpose of a matrix is equal to minus of that matrix. Clear? Now we use both. First is a transpose is equal to a. We know that we can represent elements of a matrix a. By a i j and transpose of a i j is equal to a j i as row is changed into column or column is changed into row that is equal to a i j that is first equation. Now we use skew symmetric matrix property a transpose that is equal to minus of a here. Elements of matrix A are represented as A I J, and its transpose is equal to A J I. That is equal to minus of A I J. Second equation. From equation one and two, we can see that left hand side of both equation is equal, so the right hand side must be equal. From equation. One and two. A I J is equal to minus of A I J. That is A I J plus A I J is equal to zero. That implies twice of A I J is equal to zero. So A I J is equal to zero. That implies all the elements of matrix. A I equal to zero. If all the elements or entries of a matrix is equal to zero, it implies that that matrix is a zero matrix. So that implies matrix A is a zero matrix. As proved, zero matrix is the only matrix which is symmetric as well as skew symmetric. Yeah. Now, today we will discuss about that how we can find out inverse of a matrix. To find inverse of a matrix, firstly we study about elementary operations or transformations applied on a matrix to find its inverse. Elementary. operations are transformations on a matrix first operation is interchange of interchange of two rows or columns we can interchange elements of two rows or columns if we interchange elements of if Row or 
कॉलम टू एलिमेंट्स ऑफ जे एफ रो और कॉलम देन इट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड एज इफ वे इंटरचेंज एलिमेंट्स ऑफ आई एथ रो टू एलिमेंट्स ऑफ जी एथ रो देन इट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड एज आर आई एलिमेंट्स आर इंटरचेंज विथ आर जी एथ एलिमेंट्स ओके इफ इट इज अप्लाइड ऑन कॉलम देन इट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय सी आई इंटरचेंज विद सी जी दैट इज एलिमेंट्स ऑफ आई एफ कॉलम आर इंटरचेंज विद एलिमेंट्स ऑफ जी एफ कॉलम ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ देर इज अ मैट्रिक्स ए दैट इज वन टू थ्री फोर एंड वी अप्लाई ऑपरेशन आर वन एलिमेंट्स आर इंटरचेंज विद आर टू एलिमेंट्स दैन इट इज इक्वल टू थ्री फोर वन टू कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग एलिमेंट्स आर चेंज क्लियर नाउ सेकेंड इज मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स ऑफ एनी रो और कॉलम बाय एनी स्केल अदर देन जीरो If we multiply elements of any row or column by any scalar p. where p is not equal to 0 then it is represented as represented as for example we multiply i and row elements with p then it is written as ri tends to p r i if that operation is applied on column then it is written as ci tends to p c i clear for example we can consider a matrix that is 5 minus 3 2 8 and we apply a operation that is r1 is multiplied with 2 that is 2 r1 then Elements of first row are multiplied with two. Two into five, that is ten. Two into minus three, that is six, minus six. Two okay. elements of second row will remain same. Okay. Now third one is addition or subtraction of two rows or columns by multiplying. any one row with any scalar if we add elements of one row or column to corresponding elements of another row or column another row or column by multiplying any scalar other than 0 other than 0 then it is represented as 
For example, if we add elements of second row in elements of first row by multiplying 2, then we multiply elements of second row with 2 and then add it into elements of first row. Clear? Similarly, for the column C1 plus twice of C2. Clear? There are total 6 elementary operations or transformations that are used to find out inverse of a matrix. 3 are due to row and 3 are due to column. Clear? First was interchange. That is if Ri is interchange with Rj or Ci is interchange with Cj. Second was multiplication with any scalar. For example, Ri is multiplied with any scalar other than 0 that is Pri. Similarly for column. And third one is by multiplying elements of any row with any scalar and then adding it to another row or column. For example, R1 is R1 plus multiplication of R2 with any scalar. Similarly for column C1 plus K into C2 where K is not equal to 0. That may be any scalar. Okay? Now, what is invertible matrix? What is invertible matrix? When we say that invertible matrix, if A and B are scalar matrix of same order. And AB is equal to BA is equal to identity matrix. If these two conditions are satisfied, then we can say that A is an invertible matrix that is A inverse exists and B is the inverse of A or vice versa. If there are two matrices A and B and both are scalar matrix of same order and AB and B both are defined and is equal to identity matrix then A is said to be invertible matrix and B is the inverse of matrix A or we can say that A is the inverse of matrix B. Clear? For example, if A is a matrix of two order that is 2, 3, 1, 2 and consider matrix B of same order. Firstly, we find AB that is 2, 1, 3, 2 that is multiplied with 2 minus 1 minus 3 and 2 that will be equal to 2 to the 4 minus 3, 2 into minus 3 that is minus 6 plus 3 to the 6. 1 is multiplied with 2 minus 2 multiplied with 1. Similarly, 1 is multiplied with minus 3 that is minus 3 plus 2 to the 4. That is equal to 1, 0, 0, 1. Similarly, we can find out B that is 2 minus 1 minus 3, 2 and A is 2, 1, 3, 2. That is equal to 2 multiplied with 2 that is 4 minus 3 is multiplied with 1 minus 3. 2 is multiplied with 6, 3, 6 minus 3 is multiplied with 2 that is minus 6. Minus 1 is multiplied with 2 minus 2 plus 2 is multiplied with 1, 2. 
Similarly, minus 1 is multiplied with 3, minus 3. And 2 is multiplied with 2, that is plus 4. That is equal to 4 minus 3, 1. 6 minus 6, 0. 2 minus 2, 0. 4 minus 3, 1. We can see that both AB and BA are equal. And both are equal to identity matrix of order 2. Clear? Yeah. So, B is the inverse of matrix A. Or you can say that A is the inverse of matrix B. Clear? Yeah. In not, you can write down that first thing is for a rectangular matrix, there doesn't exist any inverse because to define both AB and B, both matrices A and B must be scalar and of order same. Clear? A rectangular matrix doesn't has its inverse as to define AB and BA both matrices must be scalar and same order. Both matrix A and B have six B scalar and having same order. Clear? Second thing was if we can see that AB is equal to BA is equal to I. So you can write out that here B is the inverse of matrix A or A is the inverse of matrix B. Both are true. Here. Now, if there is a matrix, scalar matrix A and its inverse exists, then there is only one, only one mat inverse of matrix A exists. You can say that uniqueness of inverse of a matrix that is for a scalar matrix if its inverse exists then there is only one matrix which is inverse of the given matrix it is considered let b and c are inverse of matrix A. We consider its inverse. That is, there is a matrix A which is invertible and have having B and C two inverse. So we have to prove that B is equal to C. Okay? If B is the inverse of A, if B is the inverse of matrix A, then we know that AB is equal to BA that is equal to I. First equation. And if C is the inverse of A, then AC is equal to CA must be equal to I. That is second equation. And we know that for a matrix that is C or you can take B. Any matrix you can take B is equal to B I. Clear? Here we can see that I is equal to A C. So I can be replaced by A C from equation 2. We know that 
If we didn't disturb the order, then we can write down it as B A is multiplied firstly, then product is multiplied with C. Clear? By using property of multiplication of a matrix and from equation 1, B A is equal to I. From equation 1, that is equal to C. So, it is proved that B is equal to C. So, there is only one inverse of any invertible matrix exists. Okay? You can write on uniqueness of a matrix that is for any invertible matrix there is only one inverse matrix exists for that matrix. Okay. Next property. If next property is if A and B are invertible matrix. Then AB all inverse is equal to B inverse A inverse. Okay? Yeah. Product of AB that will give us a matrix and its inverse is equal to B inverse A inverse. Now it's proof. From Invertible matrix. We know that product of a matrix and its inverse is equal to identity matrix. We can see in first thing that is AB is equal to BA is equal to IA. I, sorry. Where B is the inverse of matrix A. So we can write down AB as a one matrix and multiplication of AB matrix with its inverse that will be equal to I. Clear? Yeah. If we multiply, multiply by A inverse both sides, clear? We can write down A inverse into AB, that is AB inverse, that is equal to I into A inverse, clear? A inverse into A. I into A inverse that is equal to A inverse and we know that product of a matrix and its inverse is always equal to identity matrix. I B into A B inverse that is equal to A inverse. Product of a matrix with identity matrix is equal to matrix A B inverse that is equal to A inverse. Now by multiplying by B inverse. We get B inverse into B into AB inverse that is equal to B inverse A inverse. And we know that product of a matrix with its inverse is equal to identity matrix into AB inverse that is equal to B inverse A inverse. So AB inverse that is equal to B inverse A inverse. Hence proof. Yeah. Firstly, we multiply both sides by A inverse. Then we know that product of a matrix and its inverse is equal to identity matrix. Then we multiply by B inverse and again product of matrix and its inverse is equal to identity matrix. So the property is proved that AB inverse is equal to B inverse A inverse. It is possible only if and only if A and B are invertible matrix. Yeah. 
Now, how we can apply elementary transformations or operations on a matrix to find its inverse? And how we can say that a matrix is invertible or not by applying elementary operations? Clear? You can write down that firstly let we have to find inverse by applying elementary operations. Then if we apply row operations then we compare matrix A is equal to I, A. The operations which we apply on the matrix A on left hand side, same operations are applied on identity matrix on right hand side. We have, similarly, if we apply column operations, then we compare it with a is equal to A, I. Same thing is applied in both. That is the operation which we applied on left hand side. Same operations are applied on the identity matrix on right hand side. Or you can understand it by if X is a matrix that is equal to AB. Then the operation which are applied on matrix X are applied on matrix A. Where? we find that A is the inverse of matrix D. Similarly, if we apply operations on X and D, then we calculate the inverse of matrix A. Clear? We apply the operations T, we get A I is equal to B A. Operations are applied until we get I is equal to B and row operation and I is equal to A B and column operations. Clear? And not as if elements you can write all elements of one or two rows or columns of matrix on left hand side becomes zero by applying one or more elementary operations then inverse of matrix doesn't exist it means if we apply two or more operations on the matrix and we find that on left hand side all elements of one row, two rows or one column or two columns becomes zero then inverse of that matrix didn't exist. Clear? Now we see examples related to it. For example, Using elementary operations, find inverse of matrix if exist A is equal to 1, 2, 2, minus 1. Firstly, we find its inverse by applying 
row transformations. Then we compare it with A is equal to I A. Clear? That is 1, 2, 2 minus 1. That is equal to identity matrix and A. So that we can find out value of A inverse. Now we can see that first element is 1. Now we have to form a21 element equal to 0 and we can see that if we multiply first row by 2 and subtract it from uh, sorry second row elements then it is equal to 0 that is r1 tends to sorry we are applying operation on second row then r2 tends to r2 minus twice of R1. That is, by multiplying first row elements by 2 and then subtracting it from elements of second row. That is, first row remains same. 2 minus 2 into 1. That is equal to 0. Similarly, minus 1 minus twice of 2. That is 4. That is equal to minus Five. Clear? That is equal to same operations are applied on identity matrix on right hand side. First row elements remain same. Then 0 minus 2 R1. 0 minus 2 that is minus 2. 1 minus 0 1. Clear? Now we have to form here 1. So we can write R2 tends to minus 1 by 5 R2. If we divide second row by minus 5, then this value becomes 1. So, 1, 0 is divided by minus 5, that is equal to 0. Minus 5 is divided by minus 5, that is equal to 1. Same operation is applied on right hand side. 1, 0, minus 2 divided by minus 5, that will be equal to plus 2 by 5. 1 multiply with minus 1 by 5, that is minus 1 by 5 into A. Clear? Now, we have to form 0 here. So, the operation is applied, that is R1 and 2. R1 minus 2 is of R2. 1 minus 0 is 1. 2 minus 2 is of 1, that is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. 0, 1. That is equal to 1 minus twice of R2. 1 minus 4 by 5. 1 minus 4 by 5. That is 1 by 5. 0 minus of 0 minus 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 plus 2 by 5. That is equal to 2 by 5. Second row elements will remain same. A. So, the inverse of A matrix is equal to 1 by 5, 2 by 5, 2 by 5, next is minus 1 by 5. Clear? Firstly, we apply the operation on second row, that is R2 minus 2 R1. Then, we multiply R2 by 1 minus 5 and the next operation on first row. Clear? So, identity matrix is formed on left hand side, then that will be the inverse of matrix A. Similarly, we can solve that by applying operation on column. That is, then we compare it with A is equal to A into I. 1, 2, 2 minus 1, that is equal to a into I. 1, 0, 0, 1. Here, first we have to form 1, 0. Then, sorry, we are applying operations on column. According to column, we have to form 0 here. So, we can write down C2 tends to C2 minus twice of C1. 1, 2. 2 minus 2. 0, minus 1, minus twice of 2, that is 4, that is minus 4. Next is, 
सेम ऑपरेशन इज अप्लाइड ऑन राइट हैंड साइड c2 0 minus 2 minus 2 1 minus 0 1 clear yeah. now we can divide second column by minus 5 that is c2 and 2 minus 1 by 5 c2 we can write 1 2 0 1 that is equal to a into 1 0 minus 2 by 5 1 by 5 as multiplied with minus 1 by 5 so it will become minus 1 by 5 now we have to form 0 here so c1 tends to c1 minus twice of c2 c1 1 minus twice of 0 1 minus 0 is 1 2 minus 2 that is 0 0 1 that is equal to a into 1 minus minus of 4 by 5 1 minus 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 plus 4 by 5 5 plus 4 by 5 that is 9 by 5 here value is changed c2 minus 1 by 5 c2 minus 1 by 5 so it will become positive if you multiply it with minus then it will be positive so here minus 5 minus 4 that is 1 by 5 clear 1 by 5 now 0 minus twice of minus 1 by 5 that is plus 2 by 5 that will be equal to 2 by 5 2 by 5 minus 1 by 5 so a inverse is equal to 1 by 5 2 by 5 2 by 5 1 by minus 1 by 5 answer is same you can apply any operation that is elementary operation on rows or elementary operation on column clear that is the inverse of a matrix with order 2 clear Next is find P inverse if exist P is equal to 10 minus 5 minus 2 1. If we apply progression then we compare it with P is equal to I into P. 10 minus 5 minus 2 1. 1 0 0 1 into P. Firstly, we have to form 1 here. Clear? Now, R1 is 1 by 10 of R1. We divide first row by 10. Then it will be 10 by 10. That is equal to 1. Minus 2 by 10. That is minus 1 by 5. Elements of second row will remain same. Here, 1 by 10. 0 by 10 is equal to 0. 0, 1. Now, we have to form 0 here. So, R2 tends to R2 plus 5 of R1. If we multiply R1 with 5, then it will become 5. And if we add it in second row, then it will give us 0. That is 5 minus 5. 1 minus 1 by 5. R2 minus 5 plus 5 into R1 that is 5 that is equal to 0. Next is 1 plus 5 into R1 that is minus 1 by 5. 5 ones are 5 plus minus minus 1 minus 1 that is equal to 0. That is equal to 1 by 10 0. 0 plus 0 plus 5 into R1 that is 5 by 10 1 by 2 that will give us 1 by 2 similarly 1 plus 0 that is 1 here we can see that element of second row becomes 0 on left hand side so P inverse doesn't exist as elements of second row becomes 0 on left hand side so 
be inverse does not exist. Okay? Today we we'll discuss about invertible matrix and elementary operation and find the inverse of a two order matrix. Clear? In next lecture we we'll discuss about how we can find inverse of a matrix of order 3 and some other examples related to it. Clear? Okay students, if you like the video then subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get notification for next video. Thank you.